Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to the new Utah map in American Truck Simulator. Now this DLC just came out today and so I am very excited to go ahead and jump into it. Now I have also just discovered the fact that here in Salt Lake City we have a Volvo dealership and we're actually going to trade in this Kenworth for a new Volvo and some of you guys may be like, why the heck are you doing that? The whole reason behind it is because of the fact that, I mean, I'm on an account right now that has tons of money. We have like $359 million. So, if I ever wanted to rebuild this thing, I can rebuild it again, no issues at all. So, let's see, VNL 300, VNL 300 with a couple of different features, VNL uh, 730, VNL 780, VNL 730, and VNL 780. So, with all of those being, let's see, with all of those being viewed, I'm going to go ahead and customize the configuration on this particular VNL 780 and see if, let's see, 780, 730, 300, I'm going to go with a 780 and let's see, this is a long 6x4, 220, I'm going to go with a long 6x4, 300. And engine-wise, we have the options of, right now we have a Volvo D16 600, which is 600 horsepower and 2,050 foot-pounds of torque at 1,050 RPM. Our options are Volvo D11 355, 365, 385, D13 405, D13 425, and D13 435. Then moving up to a Cummins ISX 15 450, uh, Volvo D13 475, Cummins ISX 15, uh, let's see, 500. D16 500 ISX 5 5000 5, Oh my god I can't talk today Cummins ISX 15 550 Okay if I could speak that'd be great and then Volvo D16 550 Cummins ISX 15 600 and Volvo D16 600 So the Cummins makes its torque just at a little bit higher of an RPM but I think I'm going to go with the Volvo D16 because I've never run it in anything. Uh, let's see. What's in there right now? Eaton Fuller 18 speed. Um, the 6 speed Allison would be interesting. That would actually be really interesting. What about the, uh, let's see, Allison 4500 RDSR. Let's see. 6 speeds with a retarder. Differential 370. This is an Eaton Fuller 18 speed with a retarder. I shift ATO 3112DR 12 speed with a retarder. I'm going to grab this Allison uh, 4500 RDS R. I've never run a truck with that. So, moving into the interior, let's see. We can do the Elite or the Neo Classic. Uh, I'm going to do the Neo Classic interior, actually. And then for the exterior of the truck, uh, let's see. I'd probably do like, eh, we'll do it like an autumn red. Nothing too crazy. I'm not going to spend like a bunch of time in here on the truck. And then I'm going to go ahead and trade it in. And we will pick up our new Volvo VNL 780. And then head out for our first load in Utah. Now, I wanted to kind of celebrate coming into Utah by buying a new truck. And that's exactly what we've done here. So now we will have a chance to go ahead and see what is out there in this world. Now, I decided to start in Salt Lake City because it's a very, um, it's, it's, it's kind of a hub in, in terms of, in terms of the state itself. So, if we could, like, I was gonna say, if you could stop with the detail shots and, and actually let me inside my truck. All right, let's go and start this thing up. Curious to see what hauling is like with this particular transmission because this transmission is a little odd compared to, like, I don't know, compared to the usual, like, 18-speed stuff that I'm used to. But we've got our front loader hooked up, and off we go! It's just, again, it's so weird to hear it shift like that. Honestly, it's so freaking weird to hear it shift like that. But, by going this route, it should allow us to discover quite a few cities in Utah as we go along. Because technically, this load is based out of Salt Lake City. But it sort of is, but not really. God, I still can't get used to hearing it shift that quick. It's like, man, something is just weird about that. 
You know, another weird thing about this transmission is you don't really realize how quickly you get up to speed with this as opposed to with an 18 speed. Wait, I'm turning right on red. I don't need to wait for y'all. Whoa! Look at the freaking gooseneck that Dodge is hauling. I want that as a mission. Bruh, I want that as a mission. And oh my... Holy traffic jam, dude. Jesus. That is literally like an out-of-this-world traffic jam. Like, what the heck? That's freaking crazy. Let's see. Oh, that is a weird-sounding Jake break. I was like, okay, well... That is an odd-sounding Jake break. Okay, so we've technically now discovered Salt Lake City. So... If we wanted to, um, if we wanted to grab more loads in this area, now we could see them on the freight market. But I'm gonna try and drive like a normal human being right now, and not what the heck. You know you can like go around me, right? Like you know you have room there, Mr. Fire Truck. Okay, he wasn't running hot or anything, so I was like, uh, why haven't you just gone? It's still, like I said, super weird to hear it shift like that. Now, this is... Ah, okay. I put my signal on because we're coming over. This is the dealership where we bought this truck. Okay. It's definitely an interesting place. Like, as you drive in, they definitely make you aware of the fact that there's a lot of industry going on here. And, I mean, I think that they, they do that because they want to make sure that you... They want to make sure that you know... Um, ah, this is sketchy. How good are my brakes? Good enough! <laughs> they want to make sure you know why they chose Salt Lake in general. Hey, this little old Chevy. Bleh, little old Chevy. And then we got, like, Subaru STI down that way. I got my signal on. I, I love how I say I'm, I'm going to drive, like, somewhat realistically at that, light back, at that light back there. And then I blow around this, like, freaking traffic car. What are they even in? They were in, like, a convertible Mustang. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I probably would have blown around them anyway. <laughs> to be fair, actually, I would not have blown around them because I do not at all advise passing on double yellows. It's extremely dangerous. And do you really want to cause a head-on accident? Like, really? 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 I mean, it's just one of those things where you think about it for a second and you're like, no, I, I don't want to cause a head-on accident. Head-on accidents are not desirable for either party. Just kind of chilling out here along the highway. We can see this sound wall to, to sort of protect the uh, the neighborhood from a little bit of noise pollution. I don't know how well it how well, how good of a job it does of that, but although I feel like sometimes they can be pretty effective. Prepare to stab. We just basically neutral bombed this thing. Ooh. Ooh. Try to make it start in second is a, uh, it's a stretch. Might as well shift it at, like, 1,500 RPM. Well, not, not really 1,500. Probably more like 1,700 RPM. Because I feel like if you shift it at about 1,700 RPM, you're in the power band enough and you're also kind of like i mean this this thing makes peak torque at like 11 or like not even a thousand rpm oh god but yeah when you make peak torque at a whoa we just blew the engine but like when you make peak torque at a thousand rpm i mean why are you even bothering to take it past like 1700 well, well eh, 1700 i can understand why would you bother to take it past two though Chilling out, taking a quick peek out the window, taking a look at the mirrors, we're good to go. Hopping out here onto the highway, and like I said, we are not doing the entire haul in this video, mainly because of the fact that this haul is long, but I do want to see, I do want to see some of Utah for sure. A little move over law sign reminding us there. 
Ah, uh, yeah, okay. We can go into 6th and just freaking stay there. Next two exits are Provo, Utah. Exit 272, 800 North. I like the look of, like, the landscape out here. They've done a really good job with showing the differences in, like, all of these different states. You know what I mean? Because... Like, you go to, let's say, Oregon or Washington, and they have that distinct Pacific Northwest look and feel. You go out here to, um, to Utah, and it has its own distinct look and feel. You go down to New Mexico, and it has its own distinct uh, look and feel. So all of these, um, all of these, ro uh, all these states, sorry, not roads, but states, that have come out as DLC really do get showcased really, really well. Just powering down here, like over 80 miles an hour. Spanish Fork and Price, half mile. Yep, Spanish Fork and Price on the... Whoa! That's our exit! Ah! Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. When you really don't want to miss your exit... That was a last-minute decision that I probably shouldn't have made. But, you know what? It was all worth it for this gorgeous view here. <laughs> I tell you what, we got this gorgeous hair view. It is really pretty, though. Like, it is genuinely a really pretty view. And the fact that, like, you know, all ridiculous driving aside, Provo discovered. Let's go ahead and get some Jake Brake action going. Hotaburger. Right. Oh, hello, Mr. Police. How are we doing today? I literally have not done anything illegal at all. That is quite the lie. But you know what? No big deal. Um, Dude, these really... Th these mountains are really, really pretty. Like, really, really, really pretty. I love the view. Are you serious? I really get my tire stuck on that? Wow. Jeez, it shows what happens when, like, you're used to playing Need for Speed and Forza, and you jump into freaking ATS. But my god. Alright, I'm actually, real quick, gonna park this thing up here, because we are going to take a quick break here. And let's see, and back up real quick. I do want to get a picture of those mountains, though. They are absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of iffy looking back that way. But looking out this way, I really... Whoa, you can actually see, like, the writing on the logs. That's really cool. That's, like, really, really cool, actually. Really cool. But if you guys enjoyed this first look at the new Utah map in America Truck Simulator, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to y'all later.